The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to graph. And in this video, we will be graphing linear, our first example, rational, our second example, radical, our third example, and absolute value equations, our fourth example. So the first place we need to make sure we know is the Y equals button in the top left hand corner. So whenever you want to graph any type of equation, your equation always has to be set to y equals, or if it's function notation, f of x is equal to. So we press y equals, and you will have a list of 10 different equations that you can put in at the same time. You want to make sure that your plots are not on, and that's indicated by not having a black box on it. If you press the up arrow key, it will take you up to the plot. And then if you press enter, that's how you would turn your plot on. You will have a black box around it. You would just press enter again in order to turn that plot off. So once you press y equals, we're going to grab our first linear equation, 2x minus 3. Here's our x button right beside the alpha key. And the x button can work for any variable that's in the problem. And then the last thing we want to do is press graph. So this will show you the graph if your window is not on the standard negative 10 to positive 10 and negative 10 for your y, minimum y and negative and positive 10 for your positive y. What you can always do is press your zoom button and you want option number six, zoom standard. And this will always take you back to your normal 10 by 10 window. So next we're going to graph our rational equation. So we go back to y equals. You can clear this line out and that will delete the entire line. You know it's graphing because you have a black box on it. If you don't want this one to graph, you go to the left, you press enter, and that will turn that equation off and it will not graph. So you have two options. You can just delete it or you can turn that equation off. So with rational equations, you need to be careful. You need to put an extra set of parentheses around your numerator so that your calculator knows all of this is up top. Then we want to divide this. You can use this division sign for any of division problems. And you want to make sure to put an extra set of parentheses around your entire denominator. Once again, to make sure the calculator is aware that x plus 3 is the numerator and that expression is divided by the entire expression x plus 2 times x minus 3. So you could also multiply those two binomials together as well, but that's just an extra step. So we close the parentheses behind the x minus 3 expression. We close the extra parentheses we put in the denominator as well. We know it's graphing because we have an equal sign on, we have a black box on our equal sign. And we press graph when done. And we can see our result. So depending on the operating system that you have, it may or may not represent your vertical asymptotes correctly. So here we have a vertical asymptote at x is equal to 3 because of this factor. And we have another vertical asymptote here represented at negative two. So you can't tell on the graph that it's actually not supposed to be there, but what we can do is use the table feature. So anything that's in blue above our buttons to access that, we press second and our graph button. And then what we can see is in the table at 3, we see ERR stands for error. That's a vertical asymptote. And if we scroll back up at negative 2, we see ERR again. That is our other vertical asymptote. So that's just a trick way to figure out what are your vertical asymptotes. So our third equation, we want to graph our radical equation. Go back to y equals. You can turn this equation off or you can just delete it. So our square root sign is located right above x squared. 
Once again, since it's in blue, you have to press the second button. Then you have to press the button that's directly below the option that you want. And we have X minus 5. If you use the negative sign here, you're going to get an error if you don't use the minus sign, the subtraction sign instead. So if you ever see syntax error, that might be the issue. So we close the parentheses and we press graph. There's our graph of the square root of x minus 5. And last but not least, we want to grab absolute value of x plus 2. Click y equals. We can delete this line. Your absolute value, you can find it in two different places. You can find it under the catalog in the first option. Or if you go under the math menu and you go to the second collar, column num, there's our ABS as well. So you can press 1 or you can press enter. So you want the absolute value of x plus 2. We close the parentheses just to let the calculator know the absolute value is taken of that entire expression x plus 2. We press graph and there's the graph of our x absolute value function.